When it comes to insurance, there's two ways to have your premiums, either stepped or leveled. But what do the two different, different terminologies mean? In this video, I share with you exactly what each the stepped and the level premiums mean, as well as the types of scenarios in which you might select one over the other. Bear in mind that one of them will save you a truckload of money in the future. Stay tuned. Our next question is normally asked when we're structuring the setup of insurance. And um, there are two ways of having premium structured and they're either what's called stepped premiums, which are the most common and level premiums, which are less common. But if you're spending some time doing this, it's really important to know the difference between the two. Now I'm gonna try something different and share my screen. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through this because I believe that it's best shown as a diagram. So having a look at this one, we're gonna start off by drawing a quick axis. Uh, on the left-hand side, we've got cost, and then we've got age. So first of all, a stepped premium starts out cheap, and as we get older, the premiums go up, and they go up quite significant as we do get on in age. A level premium, on the other hand, starts out more expensive and quite often almost double, but still goes up in cost, but not as dramatically. And you can see that the impact of this makes over the long period of time is that as we do get older, um, the cost for the level premiums are much lower than those for the stepped premiums at the same age. So you can see that here. Now, um, the break-even point for this is typically seven years. Um, so that is when the premiums in both scenarios are exactly the same. But that's not the important point to focus on and often can be mis um, misconceived as being the important thing for, an uh, for the stepped and level policies consideration. Um, what I believe you need to look at is in this scenario, if you've got a level premium, you've actually paid more for the first seven years than you have in the stepped scenario. So seven years break even means that you're paying the same amount, but you've already paid more premiums in that time. What you need to look at is this period of time here where you're paying less. And this is the true time that the break even point is exactly the same. Now, typically that's about 13 years of having that policy in place before that premium, the cumulative premium is exactly the same. Now, that is a long period of time to be with the one insurance company and it's the, a long period of time to plan ahead. So if you're starting to see a bit of a picture here, level premiums work if you're going to have the, the premiums and the cover in place for a long period of time. Stepped insurance and stepped premiums work if it's a reducing need or if you're going to have changes to the cover levels over time. So typically for me, um, I'll come back to the types of cover that I suggest having on the different sort of setups. But one thing you just need to note as well is that when it comes to these um, policies, they're not all the same. So a level premium, we did that sort of same scenario, a level premium starts out at a certain price and then every year it gets indexed. So year one, it will be indexed. So let's say that premiums to start with were $100. Year two, the index amount is 5%. So year two, the premiums are 105. If I was to ask you what would happen in year two if the indexation needs to be applied again, do you think that the insurance company would uh, index the original premium amount being number one or the already indexed premium being number two? Now, if you're playing at home, um, which I'm sure heaps of you are, um, they in, t in typical format, the insurance companies will actually index premium number two. So it's compound interest and really does affect the um, effectiveness of a level premium. So my suggestion when you're looking at level premiums is always look for a, a policy or a provider that will offer you true level premiums. And there's only very few in the market that will do that. And if you need to um, question that when you're talking to someone about this, I'd suggest asking them about true level premiums because it can make a massive difference to you. Now, just coming back to, to you, um, when we're looking at the types of insurance that should be on stepped and level premiums, I typically suggest that um, covers that are reducing, such as life insurance, TPD, as you get older, the need for those covers reduces. So therefore, I suggest having those typically on a stepped premium. 
Um, when you're looking at trauma and income protection, these are the types of covers that will be in place for a long period of time. So my suggestion is opting for that level premium where you can. Um, I believe that looking at these stepped and level premiums, level premium is a bell and a whistle. So if you're looking for basic cover um, and trying to get this done, don't even worry about it. Get the right amounts of cover, have it structured and locked away. But if you're looking to do this and looking to ultimately set yourself up for the long term, then I, I do suggest having a look at the stepped and level premiums. Hey there, it's Biggs. Thanks for checking out the video. If you like these videos and you want to see more, we bring out a new video around the insurance topic every weekday. So hit that subscribe button next to me. Be notified when we release these videos. We love your support. We're here to build the community, community and we want to bring you more videos. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll chat to you soon.